want to talk to you now on what the Bible says about creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. As a Christian, you cannot believe in evolution. Wherever evolution is believed, wherever it is taught, there it breeds chaos, revolution, and immorality. Well, boys and girls, put your hand up if you've heard of the word evolution. Oh boy, I think just about everyone puts their hands up. Hands down, put your hand up if you've heard that dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. Dear, oh dear, hands down. Put your hand up if you've heard that people came from ape-like creatures or something like that. You know, I think just about everybody in the world has heard those things. And I want to tell you right from the start here, I don't believe that dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, and I certainly don't believe that you came from ape-like creatures or anything like that. I mean, did your grandfather look like that? <laughs> I don't think so. Did your grandmother look like that? No, not at all. Boys and girls, I don't believe we came from ape-like creatures. I don't believe in millions of years. I believe that what the Bible says is true. That God created a perfect world. He created everything in six days, just a few thousand years ago. We don't believe in evolution. Evolution is the idea some people have to explain life without God. No, I believe what the Bible says, actually. I believe that God created everything. We're going to talk about that. Most Christians are viewed as ignorant because we believe in the Bible. Sometimes Christians feel like they're on the defensive because mainstream is so opposite and feeling like evolution is, is a broad-minded way to view things. But when you look at the Bible and you look at uh, evidence, scientific evidence, it makes sense. It's just easy to explain to your children, you know, the flood and the... Um, the fossils that are found and it just makes more sense to me. Boys and girls, I believe that the Bible is the history book of the universe. What do I think the Bible is? It's what? The history book of the universe. The Bible is the history book of the universe. If you believe that man and dinosaurs did live together like it says in, in Genesis, then how come we can't find the word dinosaur in the Bible? Hey, can I look in the Bible and find the word jet airplane? No. no, it's a brand new word. Can I look in the Bible, boys and girls, and can I find the word computer? No. no. It's a brand new word, and the word dinosaur is a brand new word, too. So what are you teaching the kids? Well, I'm teaching the kids uh, about the authority of Scripture. Uh, uh, what does the Bible say about dinosaurs? A lot of people are surprised that the Bible would even mention anything about dinosaurs because we had the preconceived idea that dinosaurs died out millions of years ago before people. And, uh, and, and I'm convinced beyond the shadow of a doubt that that's not true. Let's look at the Bible. Let's look in the book of Job. Turn to chapter 40. In verse 15 we're told of a mighty creature that Job must have known. In the jungle of the reeds and ferns, behemoth made his home. And I believe they'll say, Mr. Ham, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the scientists that say dinosaurs lived millions of years ago? I want to teach you something very special this morning. And I want you to remember this, boys and girls, something you'll never forget. Has any human being always been there? Yes or no? No. Has any scientist always been there? No. Who's the only one who's always been there? God. Who knows everything? So, in a big loud voice, who should you always trust first, God or the scientist? God, and I want you to remember that. You know what those books and DVDs are out there? They're Christian Patriot missiles. Grab hold of them. Use them. They're powerful. Powerful weapons in this spiritual war. We're talking about, is this or is this not the Word of God? Do you believe in evolution? No, I don't. I believe in creation. Why? Because it says in the Bible that everything is, that God created everything. Do you believe in evolution? No. Why not? Because I believe in creation. What did you learn today? 
just a couple of dinosaurs and a few other things. Do you believe in evolution? Um, no. What do you believe? That God created the world. Who told you that? Um, my parents. What do you believe? Tell me what you believe. I believe that there is a divine being that created us all. So what are you going to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be a biochemist and work at the Institute for Creation Science in Arizona as a research scientist. So you don't believe in evolution? No, absolutely not. And you're going to prove it? Yep. I want to win a Nobel Prize. In creationism? Yep. What do you think of people like me that believe in evolution? Well, um, I'm not sure if you've maybe studied all the facts exactly right. And, um, so you think I, I got a bad education? No, I'm not saying that at all. That's I'm just okay, saying, it's okay. Right. I'm just I won't saying, take it personally. Okay. I'm just saying the school system is probably pretty biased towards evolution, as most public school systems are, at least mine was. And um, they tend to just show you one side of the story. This week, evangelical Christians met up for a Washington event called War on Christians and the Values Voters of 2006. The reason this is happening is because of a concentrated effort by the secular progressive movement to diminish any kind of spirituality in a public marketplace. 